The Story of the Rabbit Children One fine summer's morning, the hunter's wife went to the woods to pick mushrooms. She took her two young children with her in a cradle, and she left them to doze in the shade. But Lucy and John were curious children. As soon as their mother's back was turned, they opened their eyes and crawled out of their cradle and looked around at the big, wide world. Mother Rabbit was passing by, and she was surprised to see them there all alone. Poor children, thought Mother Rabbit, left here all alone? Who would do such a thing? I'll take them home to play with my children. And so she took Lucy and John by the hand and led them back to her woodland home. The rabbit children pricked up their ears, excited to see their mother return. They hoped she had found tasty treats for them to eat. But who were these strange creatures? What are they? The rabbits muttered. They are not rabbits like us. The rabbit children who usually played happily in their woodland garden were now shy and silent with fear. You silly little rabbit, said their mother. Just look at these poor lost children. They can't hurt you. That evening, the rabbit family went to the fields where juicy carrots and cabbages grew. They licked their lips excited about the delicious food they were about to eat. Remember to watch out for the hunter, little ones, warned Mother Rabbit, looking anxiously around. Just at that moment, the hunter appeared with his faithful dog, Spot. Spot growled and then barked. The rabbits bounded away. Lucy tripped and fell. John froze with fear. As the hunter was about to catch them, Spot ran on ahead. Something's not right here, Spot thought. These rabbits smell familiar. As Spot got closer, it all became clear. These rabbits didn't have rabbit faces or rabbit paws. He had found his master's missing children. Quickly, Spot turned and barked at his master. Stop! And gently, he nuzzled and guided the children towards their father. Back at home, the hunter's wife was crying. What's happened to Lucy and John? She said sadly. I left them asleep and happy and well, and they've been out in the forest all night. Please let them be safe. And then in walked the hero, Spot, and the hunter with the two rabbit children in his arms. Guess what I found in the forest, said the hunter. Could it be? Could
could it really be my little Lucy and John? His wife replied. And she breathed an enormous sigh of relief as she held her precious children tight. Rabbit suits and all. Hi, kitty. And this is the person who wrote this story.